Hello, everyone, and welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Ian Cameron, and I'm back with you to talk about the Arizona Diamondbacks, San Francisco Giants matchup, an early start afternoon affair taking place on Thursday, April the 21st. Uh, between these two NL West division rivals. Uh, we're going to take a look at this pitching matchup between Johnny Cueto uh, and Shelby Miller. Uh, an interesting affair because I have some question marks about both pitchers coming into this uh, particular start. Uh, Johnny Cueto, give him credit, he bounced back in his last outing against the LA Dodgers uh, pitched much better uh, in that outing uh, after getting roughed up by that same L.A. Dodgers team uh, in his previous start here at AT&T Park in San Francisco where he allowed six runs on ten hits and seven innings in that ball game. Uh, Johnny Cueto to me is a little bit of an overvalued pitcher at this stage of the season. And let me explain why. He pitched as good as probably he could possibly pitch in 2015. I think most people can agree on that. He had a fantastic season with Cincinnati and then, of course, with Kansas City uh, after the Reds traded him there after at the trade deadline. Uh, but I have some question marks about whether Cueto can duplicate the success that he had last season uh, on a year-in, year-out basis. And already this year, in the first month here in April, we're starting to see signs that Cueto is going to have a tough time just enjoying that same amount of success that he had uh, last season. I mean, it's just natural. Regression takes hold uh, of a lot of uh, pitchers in Major League Baseball after they've had the kind of uh, terrific season that uh, Johnny Cueto had last year. Uh, so it's not surprising to me uh, to see him get off to a bit of a rocky start. You know, and the Arizona Diamondbacks, you know, they've been hitting the baseball well, particularly of late uh, in this series against the San Francisco Giants. They're starting to play better baseball. They had some issues early in the season. A.J. Pollock injury, obviously a big, big uh, blow suffered by this Diamondbacks team, but they've sort of survived that, weathered the storm, and they're getting back to playing better baseball. I mean, they've won four of their last five games. Shelby Miller will get the call to start in this game for the Diamondbacks. Now, I do have concerns with him. He has had a rough go uh, of it to begin the season, and his last start against San Diego on Saturday, he actually was forced to leave the game early in the second inning. Uh, it was a very weird play, actually. If anyone got a chance to see it, he had basically uh, his right hand scraped against the pitching mound uh, in one of his follow-throughs when he was throwing the ball toward home plate. And apparently, from that point on, he had this huge pain in his right hand that was affecting his throwing motion and affecting him from being able to pitch uh, the way he's normally accustomed to. And as a result, he basically had to come out of the game right there uh, in the second inning. So it was a weird, bizarre type of uh, injury or incident for Shelby Miller in that game. But it looks like he has shown signs of being able to regroup from that. Uh, he threw a very uh, solid side session uh, out of the bullpen on Monday to get himself back uh, into, uh, you know, just get his arm into form again because he didn't throw that much on Saturday, having to leave in the second inning, you know, just to try to get him back into that rhythm again. So he apparently, from all the reports that I've read, uh, he, he looked fine uh, in the bullpen session, no lingering pain uh, or anything like that, was able to throw the ball fairly effectively. So he should be in good shape, apparently, from what I've read for this start on Thursday against the San Francisco Giants. Now, the question question is, he might be feeling well physically, but can he uh, turn that into a positive performance on the mound on Thursday? Because there have been issues for Miller. He has been tagged for 12 runs and 12.2 innings of work over his first three starts of the season. You know, some slight concerns that he's given up a little bit more fly balls than he did last season. Maybe a slight uh, tick downward as well in his velocity. That's a little bit of a concern too, but you know, it's it may not matter quite as much pitching here at AT&T Park in San Francisco. You know, it could be a decent fit for him pitching here you know, when you're giving up maybe a few more fly balls than you're used to, because it's very hard to uh, hit the ball out of the park in this uh, ballpark here at AT&T Park with their spacious confines. So this could be an outing where I'm looking to buy low on Shelby Miller. Yeah, it's been a rough go of it here uh, in the first month of the season for him, but he does have a good track record against the San Francisco Giants uh, coming into this start. He's held them to three runs or less in each of his previous five starts uh, against San Francisco, dating back to 2013. So strong track record record against this Giants lineup and even though it's been a rough April for him and obviously coming off that shortened start uh, against San Diego on the weekend I think I'm going to uh, look to buy low like I said 
on Shelby Miller that maybe he can go out there here on Thursday afternoon and have a solid outing. Uh, and it's worth noting too, that uh, even if Shelby Miller doesn't pitch deep into this game, goes five, six innings, you know, Arizona's bullpen has really picked up the slack of late. They've been delivering the goods. They've been putting up some zeros uh, in the latter innings. Uh, they've been very good in this series as well against the Giants, which is a positive sign. Uh, the relievers uh, held on to a nice three, nothing win for Arizona uh, in Tuesday night's game uh, of this series. And when you look at the price for this, this particular game. I mean, San Francisco, a very good team. I've had a lot of positive things to say about them, but we're seeing Johnny Cueto uh, and the Giants right now in the minus 165 to minus 170 uh, favorite range in this game on Thursday afternoon. I think it's just a little bit of an overvalued situation that we have here with the San Francisco Giants. It's some solid value on an Arizona team that, like I said, uh, they've won four of their last five games, you know, maybe a chance for Shelby Miller to bounce back against a team that he's had some uh, t- that he does have a track record of success against in the past. So I'm going to look toward the Arizona Diamondbacks. Woof woof as a <laughs> big time underdog in this game. I'm going to recommend uh, the Arizona side. You can get them at about plus 150 uh, at the current time. Uh, bookmaker Chris has plus 150. I see plus 152 actually at Heritage right now on the Arizona side. I think that's solid underdog value for a team in a uh, good current form. And maybe a chance for Shelby Miller to get things back on track against what could be an overvalued at at this uh, point in time, Johnny Cueto, uh, as he takes the mound here for the San Francisco Giants. So I'm going to recommend Arizona as the big underdog Thursday afternoon when the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks take on the San Francisco Giants. That's a look at that NL West matchup for Thursday, April the 21st. I'm Ian Cameron. Enjoy the games and good luck.